Hello and welcome to this week's video roundup. My name is David Cohen and I'm here to take you through our top three science videos of the week. First up is a robotic arm designed for space that doesn't use motors. Sandrine Kustomo explains how it works. Here we go. Here in the Vomit Comet, researchers are testing the prototype for a new robotic arm in conditions similar to space. It uses gyroscopes instead of conventional motors which can't be used in space. When there's little gravity or friction, reaction forces can push a spacecraft out of its proper orientation. The gyroscopes avoid these problems and are faster and much more efficient. The mechanism in the new arm consists of a powered gimbal that can tilt a gyroscope mounted inside. The concept is similar to standing on a rotating turntable while holding a bicycle wheel. By tilting the wheel, the direction of rotation can be controlled without producing an unwanted reaction force. Next up, it looks like a giant collection of soap bubbles, but is in fact the new Olympic Swimming Center in Beijing. The structure is made of 22,000 steel beams covered by cushion-like sections 9 meters in diameter. These cushions are made of two layers of thin plastic film inflated with air. The building is designed to optimize the use of natural light and the pool is solar heated. Unlike conventional pools, its filtration system continuously recycles dirty water. So what's it like inside? The architect at one time suggested that if it was a box of bubbles, then being inside it may be a little bit like being underwater. And I hate being underwater. <laughs> so it worried me. That until, but when I went inside, it was not like that at all. It was a totally up, uplifting feeling of quality of light, natural light, flooding into the space. And finally, some water you probably wouldn't want to be swimming in. Researchers have discovered the hottest water on Earth. Sanji and Kustomo picks up the story. Geochemists found the hydrothermal vents during a six-year project to explore a stretch of ocean on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, east of Recife in Brazil. Remotely operated vehicles equipped with cameras, thermometers and a fluid sampling system were sent down into the ocean, more than three kilometers below the surface. The water spurting out of these black smokers is in a supercritical state. This happens when the temperature and pressure of a liquid rise beyond the critical point, causing the gas and liquid state to merge. Water becomes a supercritical fluid at 407 Celsius. It's less dense than its liquid form and so gushes out into the ocean. Although water has been pushed past its critical point in labs, it's the first time that a supercritical fluid has been observed in nature. Well, that's all for now, but there are plenty more stories on our website. For example, watch a slideshow of skeletons whose bones revealed signs of disease and obesity, or find out about new stretchy circuits that could be used to give robots smoother skin. See you next week.